from It's the, 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 the Tom Mike show. Give me a darn break. And now, and now, here he is. Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk from We're the radio talk show that he is. Not hosted by a right-wing wacker or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. I should tell you, Flash Friday is coming. It's coming. Would you like to know the date of Flash Friday? I'm going to tell you. The first Flash Friday. You can mark it on your calendar. You can circle it. You can plan your freeway driving accordingly. The first Flash Friday of the summer is going to be on Friday, June 6th. Friday, June 6th. And I'm going to be here all summer without any reruns. So it will be live Flash Friday all summer beginning on June 6th. Look at how I'm sacrificing this year. (laughs) There will be absolutely no vacations. June 6th, there'll be no vacation in June, no vacation in July, no vacation in August. And Flash Friday this year will end in September. So make a note of it. Friday, June 6th is the beginning of Flash Friday. And that means that is when uh, our listeners turn their headlights on looking to meet uh, hot chicks along the freeway who have boobage to show. And those women show their loyalty to the Tom Likas show by exposing themselves, their breasts, that is. It all starts on Friday, June 6th here on the Tom Likas show. It's very exciting. Very exciting. Thanks very much for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Here we are together again on the radio. Listen to this story. This one will blow you away. I wonder if this has happened to you. Says here, while postpartum depression among mothers is relatively well known, a new study suggested new fathers may also be prone to mental health problems. (laughs) Had you heard about this? Oh, yes. <laughs> There's more and more reasons. Never, ever, ever. Uh, guys, you know, it's, uh, you may want to have children. That's fine. But now you've got postpartum depression to worry about, according to this story. The study out of Eastern Virginia Medical School estimated about 10% of fathers with nine-month-old babies show signs of depression compared to about 5% of other men their age. Can you believe that? Says here, fatigue, financial responsibilities, and even a changed relationship with the mother of his child may be factors. Oh, boy. Can you imagine that? Damn. Damn. You have kids, this is what can happen to you. Says here, researchers said depressed fathers were also less likely to read to their children. Well, they got bigger problems to worry about. Jeez. And these children tended to have slightly smaller vocabularies by age two. As if you haven't got enough problems there. Another study out of Britain linked a father's depression when a child is two months old to psychiatric disorders in the child by the age of seven. 
While many studies show a mother's depression can affect a child's academic performance and mental health, this is the first study suggesting a father's depression can also affect children. Psychiatrists said you can't keep a secret from a baby. They absorb the feelings around them. So it's critical for depressed fathers to get professional help if they're having a hard time dealing with parenthood. Oh, boy. It's bad enough you have to deal with paying for the kid and dealing with your wife and dealing with all the issues. Now, for Christ's sake, now you've got to worry about getting yourself therapy after you've had a baby because you might be depressed. Holy cow. It's outrageous. Now, I'm wondering, uh, we, we hear people talk about the joy of children all the time, and uh, me, I, of course, am the spokesperson for the other side. The joy of having a kid, the joy of children, the joy I'll never know, the joy I can't understand. I'm not able to give love, receive love, understand love, none of it, none of it. That's what you all say to me, right? <laughs> My question for you is this. You know, instead of talking about the joy that children bring, and we've certainly heard enough about that, I want to talk to those of you who've had children whose lives have been made miserable. And I mean miserable. I mean, I can't believe it's that much joy, because having a child means work, expense, difficulties, decreased libido, Or worse yet, your libido has decreased, but your wife's has, or your girlfriend's has. I mean, all this negative stuff can happen. And if that's the case, I really want to know, like, uh, it must be happening to somebody. There must be somebody who's not having a joyful experience. There's all these miserable things that happen. Women look all bloated and stretched out even after they've had the baby, frequently gaining all this weight, the stretch marks, the blue veins. Guys haven't gotten laid in months because she's been complaining about whatever it is, uh, hormonal changes, headaches, being tired all the time, whatever. We've heard countless uh, studies talking about how marriages decline or people uh, express less satisfaction after children are born. So I specifically want to hear the specific things that have gone wrong in your life since having kids. None of this calling in. We've had enough people calling in saying how wonderful it is. I want to hear the the, the seamy underbelly of all of this. I want to hear about all of the people who are miserable. When they have kids, I want to hear from all the people who, who, who go against the grain, all the people who are willing to tell the truth. You're not supposed to say how miserable you are. You're not supposed to say how unhappy you are. You're not. Well, we're going to give you the opportunity to do that right now. If you have had a child, And you are absolutely miserable. I mean miserable. You can call me right now. Start dialing. Here we go. Eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. Actually, got called out on being a listener of yours the other night. Love it. Was at a bar, and then this girl comes up to me, start talking to her. She goes, "Once you want to buy me a drink?" Go, sweetie, I never buy a girl a drink until I bang her. She goes, "You're a Tom Likey person, aren't you?" I go, "Yes, sir." It's the Tom Likey Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. All right. We always hear how joyful everybody is who's having children. (laughs) How many of you are not so joyful? It's completely politically incorrect to ask this question, and I don't care. Gustavo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. It's a pleasure. Yes. You still want to make a comment about your show today? Okay. It's 
sucks. <laughs> well, I tell you yeah. what, since you lied uh, to get on the air, why don't I just hang up on you now? What do you mean? I haven't lied. You just said my show sucks. No, no, I'm saying no, not your, not your show. What do you mean? I, I, are you talking about, you said my show sucks. What sucks? Having a child. Having a child sucks? Yes. Well, what happened? Tell us the story. I had a child with the, with the woman I didn't want to have a kid with. Why did and, you do uh, that? Wait, wait, wait. I, I want to take this story one step at a time. Why did you yeah. do that? I, I hope, I wish I would have listened to your show before. All the things that you talk about, about bringing a girl over, staying with you, um, uh, bringing her home, she didn't have a place to stay. She asked me, can I stay in your, in your place for a week? I'm like, yeah, for sure. But um, the week went by, um, a month went by, and she was still at my house. And, I mean, we were going out, so, you know, eventually, you know, we were using protection. Sometimes we weren't, and it just happened. Um, she got pregnant. Um, I didn't listen Don't to you before. think the fact that she wouldn't leave your house was a red flag? Yeah, but at that time, you know, like like you said, you know, you don't think about that until it's a little bit too late. Well, most people don't. If I had a woman yeah. like that, the first thing I would do is stop having sex with her. Yeah, but um, but you didn't. I didn't. I didn't, and now I'm paying the price for it. And you know, having to uh, to to be paying this uh, girl every month part of my uh, my salary sucks. Yeah, well, by the way, why were you having sex with someone without a condom who wouldn't leave your house? You know, it just, it's just, it's, it's, uh, it's just one of those things that, 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 um, when a girl tells you, you know, I'm not going to get pregnant, uh, don't worry about it, you know, you kind of get used to that and you, you think, you know, it's not going to happen to me, um, kind of like that, but it happened. And like I said, now I'm paying the price for it. And, and there's no joy. I mean, I love my kid now, and like anybody would, you know. And you don't you don't think about that. You don't you don't think about uh, 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 having to get get attached to your child, having having to keep up all those all those things that 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 you have that freedom when when you don't have a child. Uh, now it, I feel like I have to be here. I can't go anywhere. But you uh, had been a listener prior to you doing this, right? No, I was not. That's the thing. I said I wish I would have listened to you before. You know, now that I listen to you, I see all the things that you say, and 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 they all come back and like, damn, you know, I did all the wrong things. You know. Well, but, first of all, you never have a woman stay at your house. Never, never, never. Yeah, and like you said, you know, you can have a girl, a girl stay at your house, but not not a girlfriend, maybe like a friend. Well, on top of that, here's what happens. If a girl, it, let's say a girl lives with her parents and she can't have sex with you at her house. If you have sex with her at your house, you make sure she's leaving that night. No hugging, no spooning, no caressing, no sleeping over, no breakfast in the morning. None of that. Yeah. Because women will take it the wrong way. And that's this is what happened, you know. I I treated her nice because I figured, you know, she's she's gonna be here, you know, just temporarily. So I treated her nice and everything, and she kind of I guess figured, you know what, uh, this is a nice guy. I wanna, you know, I wanna have. Those a are the ones that. to treat like crap. The ones who are there for a short time because you're not gonna see them again. What do you care? Yeah, that's true. But in this case, I, I was going out with the girl. You know, it, it wasn't like a, you know, I was just girlfriend and, and boyfriend. You know, like. And and I just let her stay, and I guess she got, I guess, you know, attached or whatever, and and, and she decided to have a child. And uh, when you know when that time came, it was hard to make a decision. Like I couldn't, I mean, I I gave her an option. You know, you can have an abortion, but I didn't kind of, I didn't push her to do it. You know, now I wish I would have had. You know, there's so many, uh, so many um, reasons as to why I, I now I. I I regret it so much not having to 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 uh, make her have an abortion. So many reasons. You know, I don't see a reason as to why I, I should have that child. I mean, I do. So wait a minute. You didn't try to get her to have an abortion. You just said, oh, that's great, honey. You're pregnant. That's great. Is that what you I, said? 
yeah, no, but it's, it's it's kind of hard though. Like the way uh, at that moment, it's kind of um, it's hard to make that um, to try to make a woman, uh, you know, have an abortion. It's, it's I, I guess I have to go. Why back is to that, that so hard? I, I guess I have to go back to that to that day. But now that I, now that it's there, it's like man, like I, I wish I would have, you know, a way. You know what? You know what's harder? You know, Sending her a check every yeah, month for that, the next eighteen years. Every month, I have to hear from her every month, every month, you know, like you have to be responsible. I'm like, you know, why, why do I have to be responsible? You, you are the one who decided to have a child. Now you're bringing the responsibility on me. It's like, it's not fair. You know, it's like, I'm paying for it. I didn't want to have a child. You know? Do you know, just curious, yeah. do you have any idea how many months you're going to be paying child support? Yeah, it's about, uh, I don't know, I don't know right now, but I know I'm it's tell about you. 18 years or. Yeah, you know how many months that is? How long is your car loan? Oh, I don't have a car loan right now, but I mean, that, that could have. Did that you ever? Been, uh, that could, no, I don't have a car loan, but that Did you ever been, have any loan? Uh, student loan is about it. Yeah, I'm, and how many years were you paying those off? Uh, could be in uh, 10 years. 10 years is 120 months. Yeah. Do you know how long you're going to be paying this? 216 months. Yeah. And not only that, I mean, I wish I could have just, like, cured the money, but I have to hear it from her every month. Like, where's my money? Like, how come you ever brought the money to me? Like, sucks. That's what they do? Yeah. But, see, you don't you don't see that in... in, in, in and you don't see that until it happened to you, like until it happened. Well, I mean, you don't have to. You, by the way, I don't have to jump off a building to know I'm probably going to die. Yeah. I don't need to put my hand on that blue flame on top of the oven in order to know it's going to burn my hand off. That's true. You see, you knew this. You chose not to think about it. Yeah. See, and, that, and, that, and, and like I said, that's things that, that I chose to, to not to think at that time, you know, it was, it was just so many things going on, like having her in the house and all that, and it was, it was. Um, I, didn't, I didn't think of it that way, you know. And now it's like, well, I was late. Yeah, well, because back then all you were doing was uh, treating her like a nice piece of ass. Yeah, yeah. Little yeah. did you even think. What do you think people use those condoms for? <laughs> it's true. Now, I mean, I always, I always used them before. And I don't know why, and like, and like the people. Because she saying, told you, don't bother. That I'll bet she told you. Yes. Right. Yeah. And like, oh, like, don't worry about it, honey. Just take that off. Don't worry about it. Yeah, and like that would say, you all, you always know, how how with the worst, you know. Not to say that I had. Oh. Well, because the, the, this is the kind of person who manipulates you into doing something you don't want to do, and that's what she did. Yeah, that's what happened. But the point is that you knew all of this. You're not that stupid. Yeah. Ever heard of guys paying child support? Yeah. I'm Ever heard time, about but... guys becoming parents who don't want to be parents? All the time. I heard about it, and I'm like, All right, no, what in the world that. gave you the idea that she wouldn't do that? Yeah, that's true. I mean, what? Just tell me. What made you think she wouldn't do that? It was just, uh, I, I just thought it was like, a, I thought it was going to be temporary. You know, she's like, you know what, I'm, I'm going to move. I'm going to uh, move out of here soon. So it was like, I just. But that doesn't mean she doesn't want to have a baby. Be... Why do you think she told you to take the condom off? Oh, because she, she wanted to get pregnant. Why did you think it at the time? What went, what went through your mind when she told you take that condom off? What went through your mind? I just, I, I don't know, I just did, I, I didn't think I know what went through your mind. Let me say it for you. Ooh, that's good. I want to ride bareback. I hate these sticky condoms. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's going to feel good, right? Yeah, like I said, like I use them you know, sometimes, some, sometimes I didn't. But what, what, what makes you think that using it sometimes would be effective? Uh, like I said, I, I guess I was not thinking. I, I was not thinking. I mean, why use it at all? Yeah. John, what were you going to say to Gustavo? Hey, dude, why just keep complaining and crying? Right now, you know, he said that, oh, my God, he, you know, she's putting this kid on my it's my responsibility, blah, 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 blah. Dude, if you didn't want to have a kid, you would have gone with this girl, period, man. Why are you crying about it now? Be a man. 
step up to the plate and, be, you know, live up to your responsibilities, dude. No, I am. In, you know, a, in, a, in a way, I am. But like I said, you know. But uh, don't be crying uh, about uh, it. Why are you crying about it, dude? Be a man for once in your life. You made a kid. Get responsible about it. If you know you didn't want to have a kid, then guess what, dude? You should have used the condom. If you didn't like it, then you know what? Later, girl. Dude, there's more out there, dude. So, yeah. you know, step up to the plate. Be a man. That's true. If this girl has, you know, she has a kid, it's your responsibility, too. Apparently, yeah. now she's taking your money, and it seems like she took your balls with her, dude. What's wrong yeah. with you, man? Yeah, it's true. It's true, but stop crying. Did she take it. your balls? Did she take your balls, uh, Gustavo? I hadn't heard no, about that. No, 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 not really, but... Not really? I, I still have them with me. What do you think, John? John, gone. Okay. Well, there we go. Gustavo? Yeah. What can I say? Yeah. I mean, seriously. <laughs> no condom. And then you and then she stays at your house. You didn't want her staying at your house, and you let her do it. That's yeah, true. And what do you expect to happen? Yeah, just the uh, the reason for my car. I guess just you know, like you, you, I mean, everybody says it after the fact. You know, like uh, I have. Uh, I mean, I listen to the show basically every day now, and um, and every time I hear about this happening to people, it's like, damn, like you know, that's me. That's me. You know. Now, uh, let me ask you this question. Finally, uh, people always say that having children is a joy. Is it? No, it's not. Yeah. I don't I don't even spend time with them all the time. You know, like once in a while, and that's it. Wow. Yeah. All right, Gustavo. Well, uh, that's a sad story, but, uh, you know, you did yourself in there. Wow. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Tracy. On the Tom Likas show. Hey, Tom. <laughs> hey. I can't believe I'm calling the day after Mother's Day to complain about being a mom. My heart's about to jump out of my chest here. <laughs> I'm, act I'm actually married and plan to have kids, and it really does suck sometimes. I have a good job and a career, and uh, things just aren't the same after you have kids. You can't, you know, we used to drive from Reno to San Francisco, you know, go out for dinner do all kinds of things. Now you can't, you know, you can't, your life isn't your own anymore. You can't go out. You can't go to sleep when you want. You can't wake up when you want. You can't go to the bathroom when you want with the two-year-old and the four-year-old at home. It does suck sometimes, so. Did you ever think about that before you had a baby? Um, not quite to the extent that it is because, like I said, nobody talks about it. I think it's becoming a little more acceptable for women to kind of, talk about it but you never hear you know my mom or my stepmother complain about having kids and you know the, how hard it is and how much work it is like I said I waited till I was older had everything kind of out and situated and it still sucks you know I ha have a husband to help me and it's you know it's hard it's not all a bed of roses you know I mean there's a lot of good things too but you know as far as the libido and stuff like that you know your body changes you feel and People then that's it. Then you're miserable. About. And then you're miserable, which you are. Not always, but my husband and I are both on medication. <laughs> right what, what kind of medication? Like antidepressant medication, but that kind You're both, wait a minute, you're both on antidepressants. <laughs> yeah. Holy cow. <laughs> Boy, I'll but, tell you what, I, as a guy who's not married, no kids, I sure am missing out. But it is not, it's not all bad, but I can understand why, I don't understand why people always talk about only the good part, you know. And they don't, never kind of... Because misery them. loves company, and people who have kids want other people to have kids, so we can all be equally miserable. <laughs> so that, uh, we, that that none of us can do any of the fun things that the people with kids don't get to do. Right. I know the fact that I'm on my way to France for 15 days is driving the the uh, the breeders crazy. <laughs> yeah, you never like you don't even really think about that. You know, I've always wanted to go to Italy, and thought it, we'd do it after we got married, and we waited a couple of years after we got married, just never did it. And now, like I said, you can't even 
leave town for the weekend or you know my sister wanted me to meet her in vegas next week and got nobody to watch the kids so right. I stay home. <laughs> oh well if you can't go to italy you can always go to the macaroni grill yeah yeah we went out for for mother's day and took my my sons with us and, you know one throwing throwing his toy across the table and they're dropping all over the place and you know, I didn't even talk to my husband for two minutes. So. And and what luxury restaurant did you eat at? We actually ate at a nice Italian restaurant. A nice Italian restaurant? Yeah. So there's an Olive but, Garden near you? No, we don't go to Olive Garden. Oh. We, we do I'll save the occasional time we go out for a nicer place. So. And how do the other patrons in the restaurant feel about being there with your uh, your little crumb crutchers <laughs> throwing things? <laughs> Well, they weren't too bad. There was a newborn baby there also. I guess Mother's Day is one of the better days to go out because it's all moms, so they pretty much understand what you're going through. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, Tracy, it's been a little slice of heaven. Thanks for making me feel even better about the life I have today. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, 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 Tom. Tom Likas. Everybody should listen to exactly what you say, and if they do follow it to the T, then it'll work, period. That, that's it. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yeah, it's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5-800-TOM. So is having children really a joy? It's all cracked up to me. We're hearing from the people who are not feeling very joyful. <laughs> Mariana on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I'm just listening to all these parents call and complain about how their children are wonderful and how if they can do anything else. I'm 20 years old. I have a three-year-old. I'm able to go to San Francisco, go out and have nice dinners with my boyfriend. And I just don't get, yeah, there's hard times, but it's just like I don't get how come they get to complain about I don't go out. I don't have time for myself. That's just their fault. They're being lazy. Where do you dump your kid when you go out? On your parents? My I, my mom, my mother-in-law. Well, there you go. You know, uh, uh, there's a lot of people who can't depend on their families to do that. Okay, but yeah, you probably have a friend. I'm pretty sure they have a good friend for a night that could take care of their kid. Well, I, I mean, I, they're not lonely. They're not out there by themselves. I'm I, sure. I don't think it's as easy as you think it is. I think most people are very afraid to leave their kid with a number of different people, and uh, they don't have the option of parents. Well, I mean, they can leave it with a nice, close friend. I mean, I don't think they just have the couple and they don't know anybody else. By the way, why did you need to have a child at 17? I didn't have to. I just got pregnant and was like, okay, let's, I'm going to have a kid. No, no, you allowed it to happen. It didn't happen. Yeah, This was not an immaculate conception. You uh, intentionally didn't use birth control. And I, you, had, you know what? Let me tell you my story. I actually tried to go get birth control, but by the time that I got the birth control, it was I was already pregnant. But you see, darling, you're supposed to stop having sex until you use birth control. Well, I mean, it's happened. It's not like I'm regretting it. It's, it didn't happen by accident. You made it happen. I, oh, I know it didn't happen by accident. I know. The I Lord did not point down from the sky and say, Marietta, you're going to have a baby. You did it. I, I know I did. I'm not saying I did. So why did you need to have a baby at 17? Why? Why not? Because at 17, it, you're not prepared to take care of a child. Well, obviously I have. I graduated. No, no. Just because the child is alive doesn't mean you are prepared. What do you do for a living? What college are you attending? I go to a community college. I go to Santa Monica College, and I work in an art gallery. Right. And how much money do you make? Um, weekly, monthly, how much? Whatever. Pick what. Okay, monthly, after taxes, I make 1600 you make 1600 a month. Yes. Do you know how much that is per year? No, how much is it? $19,200 a year. That puts you at poverty level. But I'm going to school to improve that, right? I don't know what you're doing in school. I'm what are you going to school. What are you studying in school? Well, I'm taking my basics and I want to become a teacher. Right. And what college are you going to go to after community college? I want to try to get into Northbridge. And how are you going to pay for that? Loans. 
I see. And what does your boyfriend do for a living? He works as a vendor. A vendor. What does that mean? Uh, you work, you go to like Lowe's, Home Depot, and you install the, um, what's called, like the, image, like the, the kitchens or something. What college is he attend? He doesn't go to college. Why not? I haven't asked him. And because he's too busy working at Home Depot trying to make a living. Okay. Right. So, so that is why. That is why. I. That is why you don't. That is why you don't have a child at seventeen. That's okay, why. Yeah. Uh, it does. It does set you back. No, it doesn't just set you back. It sets you back permanently. No, it doesn't. Because your kid is going to grow up and it's going to go to school, and you are able to. No, your kid is going to repeat. Your kid is likely to repeat everything you did. Why? Because if you read the statistics, that's exactly what happens. Well, you know, that, people, that, children that, of exactly. teenage mothers, it's a fact that we read the study on the air. Children of teenage mothers are likely to be teenage parents themselves. But that's why I'm trying to provide a better environment, a better education. A better environment? You, you didn't need, this had nothing to do with education. Are you stupid? Is that what it is? You were stupid. You were uneducated? What you didn't about? know. You didn't know that having sex without birth control would mean you'd I, have a baby. I know. I know. I'm telling you. I, I knew the consequences. Of so yeah, but so you see, education had nothing to do with it. But I'm telling you, I'm trying to provide a better education for him. But but you already knew this. You already knew about having babies and not having babies. It had oh. nothing to do with how well educated you were. I'm not talking about me. I'm trying to provide a better education for my son. Better than I what? I understand. I made mistakes. I understand. You I no, you told me it wasn't a mistake. You told me it was great. No, I understand. I have made mistakes. In the was it a mistake or not? Was it a mistake or not having a baby at 17? No. Well, that's my point. So your kid will do the same thing. No, because people are complaining and complaining, and you they're, they act like there's not... You can't move on from it. Again, you're, not, you're ignoring what I'm telling you. Your kid will repeat your behavior. And in fact, you're belligerent about it. You're saying it was the absolute right thing to do. So why shouldn't your kid get knocked up at 16 or be knocking up other kids at 16? Why not? Okay, what if he does it? As long as he provides for his family, he's not complaining. Well, the thing is, you and your mother will be babysitting until you're 80 years old. No, not really. Oh, yeah. Well, who's going to take care of your kid's kid when you're a grandmother at 35? He is. He is. He is. Oh, so wait a minute. Why Why aren't you doing it the way your mother does it for you? Because I'm not my mother. Oh, so your mother's a sucker, but you're not a sucker like your mother. I'm not my mother. My so mother your, made a couple of mistakes with me. That so I'm, your mother I'm, is a sucker. Your mother's a yes, sucker, right? Sometimes she was, yes. Yeah, so agreeing to take care of your little bastard child, that was something that uh, your mother was stupid to do, right? If you want to say it, put it like Well, that. you just said you're not your mother. You're not as stupid as she is. So when your kid knocks up somebody, uh, you're going to, to, to tell him, hey, you got to take care of your own kid because I'm busy party. My mom took care of, of you, and now you're going to take care of your own kid, but I don't take care of any kids. That's the way it's going to be, I mean. That's great. Yeah, you know you have the maturity of an 11 year old. If I do, I don't think I would be working at art gallery and providing for my child. I oh, stop it. You ain't, darling, you ain't, darling, 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 you stand in the art gallery and you watch rich people walk past you. The fact that you work in an art gallery doesn't mean a damn thing. It proves absolutely nothing. Do you know how much it costs to go to markets? I could afford You'd make more money, you would make more money working at Food for Less as a cashier. Oh, yes, you would. No, I wouldn't. Why? Yes, you would. Because it pays more than the job you have now. I do charity events, so it varies. This is I don't care thing. what you do. You, you, the fact is, being a supermarket cashier pays better than your job. How much does this pay? And you're stuck oh, as, with Between 16 and $20. And and between six, you want to hear? Between yeah. 16 and $20 an hour, that's what it pays, which is more than you make. In what state? Tell me so I could go and apply. Uh, Ralph's. Go to Ralph's. No, go apply. In what state? So I could in, go in California. California. In Los pays Angeles. Six, pay sixteen dollars for a cashier. For what? For being a cashier? Yes. 
Do they give health insurance and a plan after you retire? Well, you know, if you had uh, really any brains and had done any research, you would know the answer to that question. Well, uh, inform What kind of, by the way, the art gallery, what kind of retirement plan do they have? They don't have one. But That's right. But That's this right. But this is why I'm going to school. Yes, yes, yes. And what are you going to be, a teacher? What are you going to teach people? You're ignorant yourself. Well, this is why I'm going to school, so I won't be ignorant. I see. You see? I'm trying mm. to inform myself. You're trying to inform yourself. Yes. Well, we, you were informed that uh, having a baby would be a real struggle for you, but you did it anyway. Hey, do not make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. No, no. You didn't make mistakes. You did that intentionally, and you just defended it to me. You don't think it's a mistake. You thought it was the right thing to do. Okay, but well, people make certain decisions. Was it a mistake or not? Was it a mistake or not? I just answered you no. So then why do you say people make mistakes? Because it has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Because there's people that make certain decisions that just... You intentionally did that. You intentionally got knocked up. You intentionally had a baby. I intentionally had a baby because I, ha I chose to. How old I is your mother? My mother, she's 50. 50. 50-year-old 50 yeah. grandmother. She was a 45 or 48-year-old grandmother. Look at that. Yeah. How old did you want her to be? I, I don't know, 60, 70, like most grandmothers? 60, 70, so she couldn't play with her child? It's not her child, it's your child. Okay, well, she couldn't, what was she going to do? Have they, my son push her on the wheelchair? Oh, so, she needs, so, she needs more, so she needs more children. Having you wasn't enough. No, I have one sister. She had two kids. Jesus. Hold on a second. Uh, Myra, what did you want to see to, say to Mariana? I just want to tell her that she is just really stupid. She doesn't, she can't, even after a mistake, she can't even accept it. And she can't even realize what she's saying. She sounds ridiculous on the, on the radio. I mean, like, come on. Like, it's, I'm Hispanic, and I know she's Hispanic, too, and it's just killing me to hear her talk like this. It's just stupid, like. She's a disgrace to Hispanic race. How am I a disgrace? How are you a disgrace? How am I? Yes. You're having a kid at 17. Okay, That's not a disgrace to you? Is okay, that move on from it. Excuse me? Move on from it, okay? Okay. Is that's, that that's, a a great, that's a great argument. Move on from it. Let's move forward. Okay, let's move forward. She's still working. She's working at a art gallery and she's proud of it and gosh like why you have to, why do you have to go on the radio and and say your life are you so proud of it i'm happy with it are you proud of it i'm proud of it sure i have you're no happy. problem with it you're happy having a kid and your husband doesn't have a you and your husband don't have a life and you're what happy you with do? that what do you do it doesn't matter what I do. I don't okay, then don't come at me telling me oh, I'm not proud of this. I'm not proud of. Do you know who Chagall? Do you know who Redwall is? Do you know who Picasso? Do you know who Matisse is? Yes, Mama. Mm -hmm. We already know that you work at an art gallery. Yes, yes I, I do. Know. You know what it is? Are you educated? I tell see me that my job is more good than you have. I've been to Italy. I traveled all around Italy. And how old are you? Twenty-one. I'm twenty-one. You're 21, and how did you go? What did you go do? Did you go study? What did you go yeah, see? Yeah, I studied abroad in Italy, Mama. That's what, what I did. did you study? What did you study? What did you go see? What do you mean, what did I go see? I went yeah, to what Italy. did you go, did you go see? What did you go see? Oh, I'm, I'm glad you went to Italy, because I, I was just there. So let's talk about specifically where you were. Okay, we went from, we started in um, Florence, and we went all the way down Sicily, down south. And where where, where did you go in Florence? Um, we went to the Uffizi Gallery, we went to, we saw David, it was just amazing. Did right. you get in the canal? Did you go in the canal to Venice, Italy? Yes, I did. You did? Did you like yes. it? I loved it. Did you go it. to Germany? Or did you just go to Italy? Um, did you take a trip to Europe? No, it was just Italy. I'll do and Europe, I'll do all the other ones later. And yeah, she'll do it later. Later, when her grandchildren uh, are busy uh, knocking up the uh, neighborhood grand, uh, uh, other grandchildren. And, and wh who did you go with? Who did I, I? I studied abroad. With who? I studied abroad. I said, who did you go with? Oh. You go. Oh, I'm getting a headache. Our email address is my name, Tom, at blowmeuptom.com.
The Tom Likas Show.